Hey, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another weekly energy update for the sign of Pisces. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Pisces. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming to for you guys this week. Alright, so there is something that you feel is being stolen from you. Something that is being taken against your will as regards to family. As regards to somewhere you spend a lot of your time or with someone that you spend a lot of your time. And this is causing you some anxiety and stress. But things are about to change for you. You are about to receive a lot of happiness. And there is definitely going to be something being gifted to you from the divine. So things are definitely going to change as regard to your energies this week. And things are definitely going to work out for you. Okay, so there seems to be no communication between a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a new. But you're not ready to offer anyone any truth at this point in time. You're looking for something that is balanced, something that is fair. Could be a Libra some of you are connecting to. But there is this in and out energy with an Aries, Leo, or Sage that is causing you to be in some type of stress and anxiety. Now, you may be connecting to a Libra or a Taurus. But you see a lot of growth potential with a specific person. Someone that is going to make you very happy. Could be a Leo for some of you. But it's either you're in this back and forth energy or they are. And you see them as being someone that you can have a relationship with. Because you know they have gone through a lot and they have come out on top. And you know there is a lot that they have withstand in the past. For some of you, this could be someone that you have a child with. Doesn't have to be, but for some of you it is. And you want a new beginning. You want a truthful new beginning. You want to cut out what no longer serves you. Communication between you and this person is not happening at this point in time. It's like they're holding back. There is no messages coming from them. Because you decided to walk away from this in and out energy. Because this person was being controlling, manipulative, lying, frustrating you. Could be an Aries Leo or Sag you were connecting to. But you're trying to manifest your own happiness. You're trying to manifest a comeback around of this person. And because of the time frame that you are working with and not trusting the divine, you are having a lot of sleepless nights. Because there is still no communication with this person as regards to having a new beginning with them. And there may be some codependency issues here where you are depending on this person to make you happy. But you have not expressed your love to this person. And I think you kick yourself for not doing that. Because this person didn't want to fight for a relationship that it was one-sided. So now you decide to open up to a new relationship. To one that you feel is a soulmate connection. It is your choice when it comes to love. And you're finally going to want or 
have this stable new beginning with this person. For some of you, you could be connecting to a cancer, but someone feels stuck here. Someone feels like they can't move on and it's very hard for them to go back. So they're in this energy of having a broken heart, of wanting to leave the past behind, but not being able to. Because this person has been wounded, is very defensive, but is not ready to give up the fight yet. But is not taking any action as regards to this person, but wants a new beginning when it comes to this person. So they're in their mind going back and forth if to come towards this person or not, if to say yes to them, if to say no to them. But there is a lot of back and forth in this person's mind about the ending that happened or ultimate betrayal that took place. But someone is about to receive some type of realization. Could be you, could be them. But something is going to happen to shake you to your very core. And all your defenses are definitely going to fall because someone here is definitely being deceptive about something. Hmm. But you are hoping for a reconciliation with this person that may have left you out in a cold before, may have caused an ending between you and them in a specific relationship because they were trying to be controlling, manipulative, and wanting their own way. But now they have, now that the confusion has cleared, I think you can see things more clearly now. Or you're about to see things more clearly. Yeah. Things are not moving in your favor because it has come to a screeching halt. It could be a Sagittarius you're connecting to here. But I don't see this person coming back around to you. Now you may have hopes. Things may work for you as regards to money and finances and whatnot, but as regards to relationship, I don't see it happening for you guys. Not with this specific person anyway. Spirit, what is the most likely outcome for my Pisces in this specific collection? Alright. So, it's possible that this person could want romance with you. But there is a lot of obstacles between you and them. Lessons that needs to be learned before growth potential could happen. But you know that this person holds the key to your heart. And it's either you or them wants a new relationship. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.